Good morning and welcome to SI Lives. I am with Alex. I'm Alex Salmeri. Welcome back from the weekend. Here are today's top headlines. New York City has surpassed 200,000 confirmed coronavirus cases, bringing Staten Island to 13,417 with 821 confirmed fatalities. The death of George Floyd triggered many rallies and protests around the nation this past weekend, and Staten Islanders gathered to take part of the movement. On Saturday, Reverend Al Sharpton and Gwen Carr, the mother of Eric Garner, led a prayer vigil at the Tompkinsville site where her son died while being taken into police custody in July 2014. Carr addressed the crowd of more than 500 people and said, We have to send a message. We're not just going to sit still while they kill our people. The peaceful protesters then marched along Bay Street and Richmond Terrace to the front of the 120 precinct in St. George. The rallying continued on Sunday where more than 100 people gathered on Park Hill Avenue where multiple NYPD community affair officers walked alongside the protesters. Shortly after, the people involved in the march took a knee outside of the 120 precinct. In other news, New York City is allowed to begin reopening as of June 8th, but that does not mean everything returns to normal that day. Entering phase one is similar to the current situation, but it allows more businesses to participate. In phase one, non-essential industries will be allowed to open under low contact conditions. Some of the industries included in phase one are construction, limited retail service, and manufacturing. There might be another stimulus check on the way. Congress is making the final decision on the second stimulus package come June. On Friday, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said Congress would decide whether to pass the final coronavirus relief package. He said, we're taking a careful look at the fourth and final bill. You can anticipate the decision being made on whether to go forward in about a month. And lastly, get to know some of Staten Island's very own frontline and essential workers. We hear about them, read about them, but now we get to see their faces. Check out our new portrait series, The Heroes Around You, The World Stop, But They Did It. If you are a frontline or essential worker who is interested in sharing your story, contact me at asalmary at siadvance.com. To find out more about all of these stories, visit silive.com. Thank you so much for watching and reach out if you have any questions. Stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned for more updates.